Okay, this how-to video is going to show you the different viewer options that are available um, between kind of 2D and 3D, um, what we can select, what we can visualize um, when we get to the 3D canvas. So we'll launch the 3D canvas from the from the PCB editor window, the Kate's PCB tools. So I've got a 3D icon here, or I can use it from the display uh, 3D canvas menu. I get a filter which allows me to select and control what objects get sent from the 2D window into the 3D canvas, but I'll just leave the defaults for now and click OK. So we then get a 3D visualization of our board so that I can obviously spin. I can use the middle mouse button and the shift key to effectively do that, the middle mouse button being the, the mouse wheel. I can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel and I can hold the middle mouse button to pan around um, from a visualization point of view. So um, I've got some different preferences here. We can go to um, the appearance. So I've got the different color themes. The color themes by default allow us to see things like the design colors. I can see um, maybe black. Let's just turn the symbols off just to show this a little bit better. And we'll turn all the layers on. So I can have a black kind of solder mask. I can have a blue solder mask, different colors, dark green. So these are some of the preset ones. You can add your own with a right click add and then set the, the, the colors here. So I've got one here called Steve that's a slightly different green, a bit brighter. Um, and you can adjust the colors here. We've got um, opaque versus transparent. So if I wanted the solder mask to be a little bit more opaque or transparent, sorry. Um, so I wanted to see physically see, see the tracking through it. I can actually adjust the, the value and you can see the tracking change here from a transparency point of view. The symbol representation also has uh, different options. So if we turn the symbols back on. At the moment, my mechanical symbol of transparency is set to 100%, so I can't see through it. If I just didn't bring that down, I can now start to see the components beneath that. I've got different representations for whether I show just the each PCB footprint. Do I show just the step model? Do I just show the, the place bound shape? I can show both. One if the other one's there, else this one, and vice versa. I can choose the boundary, whether it's the DFA bound or the place bound. So lots of different options for your kind of 3D visualization. Um, when I'm looking at the board, if we then go back to the main canvas again, and we'll do the 3D window again, um, with a filter, if I didn't want to send all these objects, maybe I, I had a large board file, sometimes it can take a while to, to launch the viewer, depending on the size of the board file. So you can actually restrict which options, options go. So I'm just going to disable everything. Maybe I just want to choose uh, maybe the dielectrics, uh, the wires, the pins, and uh, let's do the masks. And in fact, we won't do the masks, wires and pins, and we'll do the outer objects. So the 3D cams will launch a little bit quicker. And it then just shows me the objects that I've requested from the filter. We can also select uh, objects. So if I come in and maybe just select the symbol, I can do a right mouse button 3D canvas. Uh, let's have all objects here. And I then effectively get the 3D canvas of just that connector and the pads. And so you can see in the silk screen, so you can physically see um, your alignment of that specific component. We can do that from a net point of view. So let's just uh, have nets in the fine pane. Let's go and find a net, uh, that one there, we'll just do a right mouse button 3D canvas, click OK. And obviously I'm looking at that um, in the my, my colors, I can actually maybe go and look at this in the design colors, which would allow me to see the different layers. So effectively I've got a tracking on the top from a pad, pad, come through into a via, the via comes through out on one of the inner layers, we can follow that all the way up coming out to another via and then out onto a pad on the top. So you can look at nets, you can look at components individually from a selection from the 2D window.